Hello and welcome, this is Ali Nasser, Sword Orc Certified Expert. Today I will simulate uh, the real tensile test in Solid Orc simulation. And it will be a dynamic nonlinear case study. At the beginning, let's show uh, our objective. We will learning how to use uh, Solid Orc dynamic nonlinear and simulate real uh, tensile test in solid workers. Also, we will learn how to add uh, new material in solid workers and uh, how to create stress, uh, stress strain curve uh, from an experiment data. Uh, also, we will find the neck strength or uh, fracture stress uh, and uh, the last thing, we'll discuss the results. Uh, before we uh, start, let's show a video for a um, real experiment of tensile test. This is our tensile test specimen. Uh, it has a cylindrical shape with original DO, uh, diameter DO, and uh, uh, gauge length L0. Uh, they help to visualize and measure uh, the plastic behavior of the specimen. By using uh, hand control, uh, the tester moves the uh, upper cross head into correct start position. And then you will put uh, the thread ends in uh, lower and upper uh, grips. And tight on them. Then uh, swing the tensometer uh, into it is working position to check everything uh, is correct. Uh, then uh, add your uh, testing parameter. As you see in uh, in this uh, picture, uh, the upper displacement after uh, broken and the lower displacement before uh, broken or uh, before applied loads. Uh, that's all think in uh, our uh, real experiment. Now let me give you a brief about stress strain curve. On x-axis we have strain, uh, has no uh, units. And on uh, y-axis we have uh, stress uh, with uh, unit megapascal or newton per millimeter squared. Uh, first zone here. It's for uh, elastic zone and second zone for plastic zone and fracture zone. Uh, we have um, proportional limit and then yield point and fracture point uh, that which uh, before uh, nicking happen and then uh, fracture will appear. As you see, the specimen uh, stages here in elastic and then in plastic zone and then uh, or at last uh, fracture. Stress strain uh, curve has two type, uh, true stress strain or engineering stress strain. In this figure, uh, show the um, parameters of a specimen. Uh, overall length of a specimen, uh, distance between shoulders, uh, gauge length, and original diameter, also width of griever section. Uh, that uh, our dimension will uh, depend on uh, case study uh, in solid workers. Um we have an experiment data from four tensile tests. The following data were recorded uh, during a tensile test of uh, 40 millimeter diameter uh, of a mild steel rod, and uh, the gauge length uh, was 50 uh, millimeters. Uh, let's start uh, to open solid workers and know how uh, to create. Uh, this material and simulate our uh, case study. Let's uh, start by getting a new document part. I have copied a picture for specimen dimensions. Just for facilitate our working, I select front plane 
as you see, the specimen is symmetry about uh, the x-axis. So I will draw the half of uh, specimen like that. I will add some uh, constraints or uh, relations. Let's uh, make this construction line and this construction line from here to here. I have dimension one hundred twenty six. And uh, dimension from here to here, uh, 30. Original uh, diameter of this basement, 40. 14, sorry. And original uh, lens or gauge lens. 25 uh, to mirror will be um, 50 and from shoulder to here to here uh, 66 Okay, everything is now okay. I have to mirror about mirror all of all of that about uh, uh, this line and out of sketch. Going to a feature, select revolve. I will uh, select. Uh, I would do to like uh, sketch be automatically closed about li this line and press OK. Now we have our specimen. Let's save and activate uh, the SOLIDWORKS simulation by uh, press here and select add-ins uh, check uh, on uh, SOLIDWORKS simulation. We have uh, so SOLIDWORKS simulation tab. Uh, our new study will be nonlinear and dynamic. Please OK. Um, first, we will uh, add a new material. Uh, I, I select apply or edit material and, that, uh, and then I add my material. Um, let's add, uh, add our material here by uh, add new category and then new material. We have a new material. Uh, and the model type will be um, plasticity for mice. And then uh, let's create um, stress strain curve. I will copy some data from uh, my uh, experiment uh, Excel sheet. Uh, select stress data, copy. And then best in this column by control V from keyboard. Uh, the first column is for strain. I select this data, control C, and control V. We have defined uh, the stress strain curve. Let's show as you, sh you see. Uh, then back to uh, the ask me uh, do you want to save your change default yes um, let's define some mechanical properties uh, elastic models I get elastic model um, from mechanical properties 
uh, elastic model models or uh, models of elasticity uh, 216 260 a boiseau ratio you uh, let assume uh, t uh, nine tensile strength will be um, four hundred forty eight four hundred forty eight sorry it's yield uh, yield the yield uh, will be 300 and tensile 448 now we have defined uh, all of the uh, parameters or properties uh, apply and close it's, uh, uh, the second options or for uh, connections uh, we have no connections because uh, we working on uh, BART uh, let's define fixtures I defined first the uh, fixed fixture uh, first fixtures will be the cylinder shape on uh, thread end and second threaded um, I select advanced fixtures uh, select on cylinder faces and define transition translations relations no translation in uh, radial and uh, the translation uh, in uh, axial will be 20 in reverse direction why 20 because my elongation uh, it was uh, 20 in real experiment uh, let's show it here is my maximum uh, elongation 20 millimeter uh, press ok after that uh, define uh, or create mesh uh, select mesh the parameters and curvature because I have uh, fillets let's uh, create our mesh then going to uh, st uh, study properties our study properties time will be one and uh, time increment one oh point oh one it's okay uh, let's select our um, solver will be direct spirit solver and press okay then we will run our study our study will be take uh, more time to calculate uh, the stress or uh, stress and uh, displacement and the strain now we have uh, finished the calculation and uh, have uh, result for stress displacement and the strain uh, let's show animate animate for stress the animation of stress during uh, elongation of uh, 20 millimeter I will press ok double click on stress to change uh, uh, the unit for and uh, from chart options I prefer to floating and no decimals also show uh, minimum and the maximum uh, stress the maximum stress will be near the middle of, uh, of rod Press OK. 
we have uh, 464 uh, stress at uh, near of uh, cro um, neck of cross section let's going to displacement and to an animate We have defined the, the force as displacement. It's okay. If you wish to save EVI file, uh, just press here and stop. Uh, then uh, play again to uh, save to save uh, your video just wait for a complete of your frames now if you going to this location you will find the uh, evi file uh, for video press ok let's show strain i will animate strain It's okay. Now uh, let's uh, calculate uh, the result of force by list result force. Uh, if you see here sum of x uh, 61486 uh, for entire model. And now if you uh, wish to calculate uh, the next stress you have a uh, force in x direction and uh, you have also the original area uh, of uh, original diameter 40 millimeter assume uh, our uh, force 6000 and one so as we know the stress uh, is uh, equal to force per area the area uh, so our stress the fracture stress will be uh, near 390 megapascal <clears throat> that's all of the things i hope the video is useful for you uh, best wishes, Ali Nasser.